here we discuss a problem from group theory and the problem is on subgroups and this problem has appeared in CSIR UGC in national eligibility test held on 26th November 2020 under section B. The problem is let G be F net group which of the following are true. The first option is if G belongs to G has order M and if N greater than or equal to 1 divides M then G has a subgroup of order N. Second option if for any two subgroups A and B of G either A is contained in B or B is contained in A then G is cyclic. Option 3 if G is cyclic, then for any two subgroups A and B of G, either A is contained in B or B is contained in A. Option 4. If for every positive integer M, dividing order of G and G has a subgroup of order M, then G is abelian. We take the first statement. If G belongs to G has order M and if N greater than or equal to 1 divides M then G has a subgroup of order N. We have the given group G which is a finite group. We have G an element of G and its order is M. Let H be the cyclic subgroup generated by G and its elements are G, G square etc. g power m minus 1 g power m is identity. It is a cyclic subgroup generated by g. We are given n greater than or equal to 1 and n divides m. Therefore, there exists a positive integer k such that m is equal to n k. Now, consider the element g power k. g power k generates a cyclic subgroup of order n. Thus, g has a subgroup capital K that is this subgroup generated by g power k of order n. So, hence our the statement what is given in option 1 is true. So, this is the second statement if for any two subgroups a and b of g either a is contained in b or b is contained in a then g is cyclic. We have g a finite group and you list the elements of G and their orders. So the orders are the orders of the elements are positive integers. Then, because G is finite, choose a maximum order among the orders of the elements of G. Let X be the element of G whose order is maximum. Let Y be an arbitrarily chosen element of G. Then we have two subgroups. One is cyclic subgroup generated by Y, call it bracket Y and the cyclic subgroup generated by X, that is bracket X. By hypothesis, if you have two subgroups, either A is contained in B or B is contained in A. So therefore, either bracket Y is contained in bracket X or bracket X is contained in bracket Y. Since the order of x is maximum and y is any element of it. Therefore, order of y is less than or equal to order of x. Therefore, the order of the bracket y is less than or equal to the order of bracket x. So, take the first case. If bracket y is contained in bracket x, then obviously y belongs to bracket y is contained in bracket x. Therefore, y belongs to bracket x. That means that means any arbitrarily chosen element of G belongs to bracket X. That is, every element of G is an element of bracket X. That is, G is contained in bracket X. Therefore, G is equal to bracket X. That does G is cyclic. If bracket X is contained in bracket Y, the second one, then consider their orders. The order of bracket X is less than equal to the order of bracket Y. We also have bracket y, the, the order of bracket y less than or equal to order of bracket x. Combining them will get equal. Then the bracket y is equal to bracket x. Then obviously y belongs to the bracket x as the 
earlier case every element of g is an element of x therefore g is bracket x thus g is cyclic in any case g is a cyclic group therefore the option 2 is true now the third statement if g is cyclic then for any two subgroups a and b of g either a is contained in b or b is contained in a not necessarily let's consider g is equal to z6 under addition modulo 6 it is a cyclic group of order 6 we have two subgroups one is a that is cyclic subgroup generated by 3 that is the elements are 0 3 0 3 and b is the cyclic subgroup generated by 2 that is 0 2 4 right but these are two subgroups we, we find that neither a is contained in b or nor b is contained in a therefore the option 3 is not true we have the statement 4 if for every positive integer m dividing order of g g has a subgroup of order m then g is a billet not necessarily solution we have a finite group g let us consider g to be s3 the symmetric group of degree 3 on 3 letters its order is 3 factorial that is equal to 6 m divide 6 this implies m is equal to 1 2 3 6 for m is equal to 1 and 6 we have trivial subgroups subgroup consisting of identity element alone the whole group for m is equal to 2 we have a subgroup h generated by the the permutation 1 2 3 mapping to 1 3 2 fixing 1 flipping 2 and 3 so its order is 2 it has a subgroup it is subgroup of order 2 of s3 for m is equal to 3 we have a subgroup k is equal to the permutation mapping 1 2 3 2 2 3 1 and it's of order 3 and uh, we have the subgroup of order 3 thus g has a subgroup of order m for every positive integer m dividing order of g but g is equal to s3 is non-abelian therefore the statement given in option 4 is not true therefore the option 4 is not true so our final answer is option 1 and 2 are true so that is the discussion of the solution of a problem from group theory which is based on subgroups i hope that you have understood the solution of it and i wish you all the best thank you